Hi, it's Bob with Top Choice Real Estate bringing the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different and this is kind of an afterthought to be honest. I'm going to walk through a house for an out-of-state buyer. They call me up and say, hey, can you take a look at that? And I say, sure, it's something I do for clients. So we're going to look at 1385 Stony Creek Circle in Carmel, Indiana. Okay, it is uh, right about one o'clock on a, what is this, uh, Wednesday afternoon. This is the traffic on Spring Mill uh, Road coming into the uh, neighborhood here, Spring Mill Crossing. Okay, we're about three blocks into this neighborhood. Um, I can probably tell you about whatever you want to know about this neighborhood. My wife actually lived one block over for, I don't know, 15 years, 20 years. So, at any rate, um, yeah, these are the houses as we're heading down the block. Um, you're in the middle of uh, the neighborhood. There's no road noise or anything like that at all. Um, you're about, like I said, about three blocks into the neighborhood. Okay, I'm in front of 1385 Stony Creek Circle for you. Nicely landscaped out here. Manicured kind of, uh, nice paint job. The inside is going to look the same. About as squeaky clean as, uh, as you could ask for. So you step inside you got a small foyer here to the right. You have good size office, attractive crown molding, good natural light. Got uh, nice hardwood floors. Got a little coat closet here and then to your left is a formal dining room right off the kitchen. Your stairway going up. Come down here door into the basement and now you're into the main living area nice brick fireplace it's wood burning got a tray ceiling good doors out to the uh, deck and your living area and kitchen are open so if you're considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. So you have room here. This is interesting the way they set up this island uh, rounded at the top so that uh, you've got four stools around it and yet you have your main island for workspace. So there's quite a bit of cabinet and counter space in here. Attractive backsplash, uh, looks like quartz countertops, you've got stainless steel appliances, uh, electric range, uh, dishwasher, microwave, French doors on the refrigerator. You've got a pantry here behind the glass doors, good size. And you have a full bath tucked in back here. And then the laundry room, washer and dryer are included. You got a nice sink, space in here to do what you need. And it's right off the garage. And so is this bathroom. So you come in, you've been mowing the grass or whatever, you can just jump in there. You got a two car. You got a four foot bump out on this side. That's uh, about two and a half feet over there. So yeah, you can get your lawnmowers and stuff in here. Um, or bikes or what have you. You do have pull down attic stairs, so you have some storage up there. And we'll go see uh, what the rest of the house looks like, okay? Okay, fairly wide stairway. Hardwoods up here with carpet in the bedrooms. So we have uh, bedrooms pretty decent size. Everything's just super clean. I mean, the carpet's just super clean. The paint job is. There's six panel doors. This room might be a tad bit smaller than that other one. Okay. And 
and a third bedroom. Ceiling fans. Okay, so this is the uh, hall bath. So we saw one downstairs, this is number two, you got a double vanity. This one's got a fiberglass tub and shower. Linen closet's pretty deep. Looks like a higher end laminate plank there on the floor. And then we're into the master. It does have a tray ceiling. They've got uh, three chests of drawers in here, a king size bed, two nightstands. There's room for all that. You get arranged a little different, but yeah. And it's got a ceiling fan as well. Tray ceiling makes it live a little larger. Then we're into the uh, ensuite bathroom. It does have double vanities. They are split. Okay, so each person gets their own. Commode room has a pocket door. Um, good size shower. You've got the uh, rainforest head plus uh, the handheld. Good natural light with the skylight as well as the window there. And then uh, pretty good cabinet space in here. Let's see what we got for a master closet. It's behind the door. Oh, so this leads into all kinds of storage in the attic. Okay. And again, everything is just immaculate. There's nothing out of place or not done correctly. Nice master on suite. We'll go back downstairs. Let's go check out the basement. And I say this in all my videos, but I know a guy. So if you see something that isn't quite the way you want it and you want to make it that way, make it uh, set up for yourself. I've got good, reliable, stable contractors, good prices, trustworthy, and uh, they can take care of stuff before you move in even. So we come downstairs into the basement. Pretty good sized room with a lot of storage over here. Across that whole wall. Good space. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, just storage. The basement's dry. They've got stuff stored on the floor. This is carpeted. Then over on this side, you've got your mechanicals along with more storage. Your electrical panel box. 200 amp. You have a sump pump. Water softener water heater and your furnace. Okay, off the uh, kitchen, you have a nice size screened in porch. You got four big chairs here with plenty of room ceiling fan, vaulted ceiling, skylights. It's nice. And so you have two doors out here to your deck, one from the uh, living area and then the other from the screened in porch. Look like we have a composite or tracks um, decking on this with iron railing. Paver patio down here. And then uh, your backyard's a combination. It's uh, pretty well screened to the neighbors over there and in back. Those arborvitae are gonna be about 25 feet tall before too long. 
and then it's open this direction. Those houses are pretty far back. Okay, if you found that helpful or the thought that it might be helpful in your future, then let me know. Hey, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now.